is another example of uh, uh, app string formatting. So uh, we have a three different variables. It's a name, Peter, and the date of birth. Actually, year of birth is a 2010, and the school is a TMSA. So let's imagine you are working in a school that you are going to generate a different reports to the uh, every single uh, every single student, but the main the main text of the report is the same. The only thing the name is changing, the age is changing, and the school name is changing. I'm just giving the example with the three variables, and but you can imagine what you can do. So you can have uh, more than three or five, ten different variables. So let me see how it looks like on formatting. So what I need to do is I will say I need to print it. But since I'm going to inject these variables on my text, so I need to use the F string, I will say F and after that I will start my my text over here. So I will say the student the student's name is Right now, I will put the variable. What is the variable? The variable is a name because that name is a changing. You see, so as of now is a Peter, but if I change the Peter to another name, so here we change it as well. Now I will need to specify how old he or she is, but the only information is is the year of birth. It's 2010. But how can I figure out how old that child is as of now? So I will say that. Oh, by the way, I will need to go before this one and uh, the age is, let me open and close the brackets. If I write a DOB like this variable, so it is going to print to 2010, but I need to know how old that student is. So what I can say is, what is the today year? It's a 2020 minus DOB. So right now I'm working with the two different integers. So that is integer and that is integer. You see, so inside that uh, curly brackets, I can do some math as well. And I say was enrolled to, let me just do this way. Oops. And I will say school. So you see, I'm using three variables. One of them is name over here. It was injected here. So right now I have another variable, which is doing some small calculation inside. You see, even that, that curly brackets, you can write a whole formula too. So I'm doing a simple formula, but later on, whenever we are going to dive to the data science, so in these kind of variables, we will make some calculations. So here we need to write some formulas. I did a here sample, a simple one, but so let's let's see. You see that a student name is a Peter because the Peters come from here, and the age is ten because two two twenty uh, twenty twenty minus twenty ten is equal to ten, and roll TMSA. So right now I have a short sentence only, and can you imagine that you have a huge document that works with the different variables? So let me change that to the mic. I will change this to the 2011, and I will say ABC school. So if I run it, babans, it it generates a report for me. The student name is a mic, which is from here, and all other variables.